Britain is set for its coldest winter for the past five years with freezing air from the North Pole sending the thermometer plummeting to minus 11. And it is feared the cold snap will bring widespread snow and ice and cause travel chaos. Monday will bring the first big autumn freeze with motorists waking to find frozen windscreens after temperatures fell to minus 4 overnight. And the forecasters say parts of the north could have snow on the hills within days. But Arctic winds later this year are expected to deliver Britain's coldest winter since the bitter 2012-13 freeze. December and January are both forecast to be colder than normal, with all areas of the UK, including the south, being affected. Five years ago temperatures plunged as low as minus 14 in the same two months. Hello, good evening. As far as autumn's been so far this year, it's been fairly mild across the country, but today, across Scotland, it's been a fairly chilly day. Some places didn't even get above double digits. And the cold theme is really set to continue as we work through this evening and overnight. The clear skies will allow those temperatures to fall away. We could see a widespread frost through tomorrow. A few showers just across those eastern counties of Lincolnshire and East Anglia will continue through the night. A bit more cloud here, but elsewhere where we've got those clear skies, the temperatures will tumble. And these are the typical values for your towns and your cities, low to mid single figures. And in the countryside, well, a couple of degrees below freezing. The glens of Scotland could even get down to minus four. So you may need your scraper first thing tomorrow morning to de-ice the car. But it'll be a bright start to start the day. Plenty of sunshine around, a crisp feeling day. Um, but there will be some cloud beginning to nudge its way into Northern Ireland and Scotland through the afternoon. A few light outbreaks of rain and drizzle. And then a change in the wind direction will gradually introduce a little bit more milder air into the latter part of the day. But it will be, for the most, a very cold feeling day. Temperatures again into high single figures or just scraping into double digits. We hold on to the high pressure that has been given us this settled weather through the day. On Tuesday, it slips its way a little bit further south, allowing weather fronts to topple over the top of the high, introducing some outbreaks of rain once again through the day. On Tuesday, some rain for northwestern parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland, some dry weather out towards the east, but for most of England and Wales, a dry day to come. One or two isolated showers around and some spells of sunshine, but look at this, temperatures up on what they will be on Monday, reaching back into the teens, a much milder day compared to Monday. But as we work into Tuesday night, of course, that's the start of Halloween or the trick-or-treating. And what's the weather set in store for you? Well, for most of us, it will stay largely dry. There is a chance of seeing some light outbreaks of rain and drizzle still into the northwest of Scotland. But it won't be as cold as it will tonight. Bye-bye. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.